Good morning, modern steaders. There's just something so magical about the foggy morning. Look at that, you can't even see out there. You're tearing up this area nicely. There you go. That goat's like, all right, stop enjoying the nice foggy morning and give us our food. Do you sure you girls want some alfalfa? Are you sure? I'll give you a little bit. And there you go. You got plenty of hay out there too. One of the things I'm really looking forward to about our new barn is having everything in one area. Right now our animals are all outside and our feed is all in the basement of the house. It's going to be nice to be able to have a feed room right next to where we keep the goats. We'll have our own milking room, so we're not milking right in the barn stall. It's gonna be so convenient. But I'm glad we took our time to build the barn. We figured out where we really need it on the property and also how to have the barn flow inside for us to work the best. So the area where we position the barn on the property Hold on, Willow needs some more feed. We think it's going to be the best spot because we can access the pasture where New York City is and we can access the pasture, or soon to be pasture, that we had logged last year. If you guys haven't seen the videos of us getting that four acre piece of property logged, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. Believe it or not, we got paid to get that logged which is pretty cool. Thank you, Willow. <laughs> Just in the time since we milked and went inside and filtered the milk, at least half of the fog has already burnt off. That's telling me it's gonna be a hot one today, guys. Look at that. You can see again. Do you see that? I've never seen that before. Let me zoom in for you. Look at that crazy chicken. No wonder why my gutters are all jacked up. Old CWC, what are you up to? Huh? What are you up to? Is that where you sleep at night? Oh lady, you're crazy. You guys ready for some feed? <laughs> you sure do like the squawk, don't you? There you go. There you go. You guys ready to go back in the house? Once it cooled off a bit last night, I came back out and I cut the rest of our tin to length. I had the other 10 sheets here, and then I cut up the end pieces of tin for each side. I believe I left my pencil right here. Better move our water and our coffee. We don't wanna kick those over. So the way we have this cut, this is the top, and that means like on the other side, we're gonna go one, two, the top first sheet and then we'll leave these ones off so let's get these two marked and drilled and then we'll finish up doing the rest okay I'll be there probably around nine o'clock Th thank you well we just got a phone call we got some chicks down at the post office yes so let's mark this we're gonna use a pencil for now on this first sheet 113 and then it's 93. And then it was 
has 73. Then it was 53. 33. 13. And then four. So I'll get that first one marked. All right, so the chicks coming in the mail today is awesome. I'll just take away a little bit from working on the barn. So we'll go get those. We gotta bring Olivia out to town, so that'll be perfect timing. I always want your ear protection. I ran out last night and I got some DeWalt impact ready drill bits. Let's see how these work. Those work awesome. Hope they just stay this sharp. Nice. So much faster than yesterday. Take this sheet off. This will be our first one we start with today. We'll take it off for now. Ooh. All right, set it over here. Now we can mark these other two and get them drilled out. Can't believe how much faster the drilling is going with the DeWalt drill bit. Not a sponsor, but if DeWalt, if you want a sponsor, we got our PO box on the video description of this video. You can send us as many tools as you'd like. Nice. This and this. All right, so we need to get our first board set up so we can set our first piece of tin in place. We want this. I guess I do, but I don't want to do that. Let's see, there we go. I'll set that in place as a spacer. Get her up. I like that overhang down here. How are we here? I am a smidge under two inches. We'll set this one in place. That'll hold it. Thing's set up. Just under two inches. We are two inches. Inch and seven eighths. Inch and seven eighths. That's when pre drilling comes in so handy. I like it. Yeah, I like that a lot. Back this one off a smidge. Oops, too much. I like that right there. Okay, now that I like 
like that, I like that. That's sitting good there. Let's go up and get this tin in place. The same reveal here as we do over there. I gotta put this in my belt loop so I don't lose it. We need to grab our chick brooder, which is right here. Need our cover. Uh. I know you're saying, Al, how is this a chick brooder? Oh, ho, ho, ho. let me show you. It's one sheet of plywood. And then we'll take these two, put them over here. Let's take this one, line that groove up here. Let's line it up with this one. Boom. Do this. Thirty-seven, and I guess you got some chicks here for us too. Okay. Very Sounds good. like that's our noise makers back there. I see them. I was hoping they'd come today, and they wouldn't get stuck sitting on the post office somewhere for the Fourth of July. That would be awesome. It would be. All right. Thank you very much. Need a signature for that one. All right. If thank I you. Did, it would have gone together. Perfect. Really you too. Open them up, see what we got. We ordered, nice, I'm not seeing any dead ones. We ordered 40 Cornish Cross males from hooverhatchery.com. I'll have a link in the description down below. Not a sponsored video, just where we got our chicks from. They're looking nice and healthy. I like seeing that. I'm going to take them out one by one and dip their beak in water. And then this way, they know where their water's at. They've never had a drink of water yet. So that's half down. Now they're all going back and drinking some more. One in 20. So we got our four, our 40 male Cornish crosses. They've all had their first drink and now quite a few of them are over there eating also. Hey, old CWC. I hear the goats. Sounds like little man. We got our ridge cap. Now we can get back to working on the barn. Let's get the ridge cap up. Ridge cap, I know, but I'm thinking if we put the ridge cap up now, we can work it from the strap in and work it side to side, where if we put the ridge cap up after, we're gonna be working just on the tin. We won't have any strap in to stand on. So, let's 
Grab our first ridge cap. I'm hoping I can slide this piece of tin under it. That's what the goal is anyways. Wanna line it up like so. Wanna have it overhang a little bit. Sure, it's still straight and in line with that other peak. Like so. Nice. Alright, let's come down. I like that right there. All right, let's get another ridge cap set in place. I'm glad they don't put this on every sheet of roof material. That'd take forever. This one to go under, because if it goes over and we're looking from the house, we'll see the edge. Or if I slide it underneath, let's see. Now I can get you. I might have put too many screws in, but we'll get it. go underneath let's go at least to here yeah I like that so if we go underneath if we're looking from there we won't see a seam if that makes sense guys it's a little anal but it's those little details that make it nice in the long run Let's see, are we flush there? We are. So let's stick one screw in place. Don't gotta be super tight, but I need to take this board out. There we go. 
go. This is going along good. Let's get her up on the stage. And... Ah, yes. All right, here we go. Oops. There. Okay, let's go back up and work it. A little bit of a breeze feels good, but. Doesn't help when you try to put your tin up. Okay. Thought that was revealed. There we go. I like that. I don't know. If we'll be able to set this up or not, but let's get it up there And then at least we'll have it if we can use it if We can't use it. Well, it'll be up there anyways Let's do this this we got should have enough screws in the old pocket uh, All right, here we go again So, see if it stays. Let's try this again. That's pretty well in line right there, so we're good. We can start working our way down and screwing them. <sighs> Note to self, put more screws in your pocket before you come back up.
last full width piece for this side. And the sun just went behind a cloud. Oh, it's gonna be nice. And we squished an apple. Ah, the sun's back. Man, that's all right. thinking about waiting to do this last piece till tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna do it next. It could be a lot easier to get this side from that side, and that last one we'll have to set up a ladder to get. We have more room on that side. Since we don't have an apple tree we're contending with. Go grab the last piece and get it in place. Here's where I hid the piece I need under the apple tree. Get up and get this piece screwed down the best we can from up here. Ah, oh, you know what I didn't bring? No, I did. Whew. I'm hoping to get at least two rows, if not maybe three rows. Can we reach this one? Let's see. Yes, we can. Whew. All right, let's do this. From the top, we are 13 inches. So from the top, from the top, we are 13 inches. 13 inches. There we go. That's what we're doing for today. It feels good to have the roof done this far. I'm glad I decided to put the ridge cap on as I was working the tin on this side. Hopefully tomorrow it won't bite me in the butt. I think it should go pretty good tomorrow. I'll be able to finish up the next side of the roof and get the ridge cap all buttoned up which is going to be nice. We'll have a watertight working area when it starts to rain again. I'm excited we got our second batch of Cornish Cross meat birds from HooverHatchery.com. I can't wait till we can get them out on pasture, get them raised up, and that'll be our chicken for this winter, which it feels good to know, hey, I got, I'm working on growing my winter supply of food. It's always good to know you get some healthy food growing up for you this winter. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, and I'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.